Okay, it's beer o'clock again on the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer from the York Brewery and it's a bottle of their Minster Ale. It's their premium bitter coming in at 4.2% ABV. This brewery established in 1996 in the walls of the historic medieval town of York or city of York. Big, in the medieval times, a big kind of stronghold of the north was York. I'd love to visit the place. I've heard some great things. I've not been there myself. At this stage of the review I'd like to thank bestofbritishbeer.co.uk, our sponsors, for sending us the beer to review on the channel. Okay, so beer in the glass, we've got some great big bubbles there rising up. It looks like it's a forced carbonated beer, it's a two finger head, it's slightly off white. Colour is a really nice light golden coloured beer. Reminds me a little bit of Timothy Taylor's Landlord. Let's get a nose down on the beer. Ah, um, right, let's get another nose on the beer. Oh, I'm not sure yet. I am not sure. I'm not going to say too much. Okay, I'm picking up a little bit of spice, a little bit of lemon. But it's all in the tasting. Cheers. Oh. Oh no! Okay, I didn't want to say too much in the nose because I was picking up a lot of diacetyl. Then it went away in one nose and then it kind of come back and I wasn't so sure so given the beer a taste and it it confirms it 100% loads of butteriness um, it's either an infection or they've rushed their brew but it's not I've had it before from the York Brewery I reviewed the Yorkshire Terrier and that was full of diacetyl as well um, ah, yeah, it's just a buttery mess, it's a butterscotchy buttery mess, dear, 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 um, probably two years ago, I might, I might, with, with the way I've kind of progressed as a beer reviewer, two years ago I would have probably drank this and enjoyed it. Now I know it's a massive fault. Some people actually buy beer for the taste of diacetyl. There are one or two beers out there that has purposely got diacetyl in there. But I am pretty sure that the York Brewery wouldn't produce two beers or the two beers I've tasted with purposed, with purposely diacetyl in the beer. Um, real, real shame. Real, real shame. Yeah. Nice water. Like the water. Like a bit of the spiciness. Like a bit of the kind of lemon. But I'm just. I just cannot get past that diacetyl. I just, I am really struggling with it. Nice looking beer also. <sighs> just a shame about the outcome. Okay, York's one and only, they're saying. If you want to get in touch with this brewery. It is www.york-brewery.co.uk it's saying it's bitter, forward and sweet, two and a half. It should be golden to look at. It should have orange zest and a light hop nose. In the taste, it should be clean, sharp and bitter. It probably would be if it wasn't chock full of diacetyl. For me, this beer is a massive fail. Um, I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this, I'm going to give it a two, but I'm going to give it a one out of ten. One out of ten beer from the Real Ale Guide. Um, 
York Brewery, two beers, or three beers, I had your stocking filler, your stocking filler was a nice beer, your Christmas beer, but the other two have been chock full of diacetol. Um, pfft, sort it out. Thanks for watching me, The Real Ale Guy. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to my daily beer reviews. I am going now. I am totally deflated. And cheers.